In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to leverage AI in your 3D designs. More specifically, I created these 3D chrome grills with the assistance of AI. If you want to learn how to make this, keep watching. Luma Labs is an AI platform that enables users to capture and render lifelike 3D scenes. For this video, I created these teeth and gums directly on Luma Labs. You first need to create an account. It's totally free. Once you're logged in, this window will appear and you'll be able to type in anything your heart could desire in the search bar in order for the AI to create a 3D model for you. In this case, I went ahead and typed in mouth full of teeth with lips and this is what appeared. It'll provide you with four different variations and you can choose the one that you like the most. Or click the retry button and add more descriptive words. Once you pick the variation you like, it'll take a few moments to create the 3D model for you. Once the model is created, there's a sidebar where you can adjust your settings further, like the reptology, the file type, and you can even make it a high res render. After some trial and error, this is the 3D model that I was happy with the most. So I selected the file type I wanted and then I pressed download so I can bring it over to Blender. Once on Blender, I went to File, Import, GLB, and imported my 3D model. Now I can start 3D designing my Chrome Girls. One of the advantages of this model is that they have UV mapping, so you can adjust the colors as you please. As you can see here, I wanted to make the teeth a little bit wider, so that's what I did within the Texture Paint tab. And if you're enjoying my content, I would really appreciate if you would support my channel by subscribing, liking my videos, or commenting under them. So I decided to start out my Chrome Grills and I'm going to be using Meta Balls for this. I usually do it uh, on Illustrator, but for this, I'm just going to stick to Blender. So I added a Meta Ball to my dashboard and then I made it super small. These Meta Balls are really good for creating like goopy textures because they're kind of like magnetic. So if you want to just outline something, just make the Meta Ball super small and just create a pattern with it like you see me doing here. After you're happy with it, you're just going to right click your mouse and convert it to a mesh. And now it's one solid object. I went ahead and added a material to it just so I can see what it looks like a little bit better. And then I went over to sculpt mode so I can adjust it further. In sculpt mode, the main tools I used were the inflate tool, the bulb tool, and the smooth tool, as well as the grab tool in order to make it more flush to the 3D model of the teeth. And before I did anything else, I went ahead to my shade editor tab, I switched to world and I added an HDRI. I get all my HDRIs from polyhaven.com and they are free. So as a 3D designer, your main job is to problem solve. So right here we have a design problem. What are we going to do? We want the grills to be all over the mouth. So are we going to create meta balls for every individual tooth? No, that's going to take way too long. We're just going to go ahead and copy and paste that one meta ball tooth cap that we did. And we're going to go to sculpt mode and adjust it so it could be flushed to the tooth. My workflow is all over the place today, but I wanted to add diamonds to the front teeth. So I use my blender kit add on. It is completely free. There are paid assets within it, but there's a lot of free ones too. And within the objects tab, I Press, I typed in diamond and I imported it into my blender dashboard so I can add them to my tooth. I usually align the square ones at the bottom edge like I'm doing right here. I changed them to gold and I now started adding the grill caps to the rest of my teeth. Use the same method for the bottom. Just keep adjusting it on sculpt mode with the grab tool. I wanted some of my caps to be filled, so I went ahead and pressed add meta ball and I added a meta ball plane because it was more of a square shape, so it, take, it takes up more surface area, and I started filling in the cap. I then converted it to a mesh and I took it over to sculpt mode so I can adjust it further. In the shade editor tab, I added a material and I thought the pink looked really cute, so I was like, I need to go ahead and do this to the other teeth too. So like everything with AI, these 3D models are not perfect. So I felt like the middle in between the top and the bottom row of the teeth needed some sort of gap. So I just created an illusion of a gap through texture paint. I added like a pinkish color. I tried black, it looked too harsh. So this is what I came up with. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say earlier, I will be linking this 
specific 3D model in the bio so that you guys can go ahead and use it along with whatever other 3D models you make on Luma Labs. Lastly, I just wanted to be extra and add some pizzazz. So I went ahead and added a meta ball to my dashboard and I wanted to create, to create some like molten chrome goop. So that's what I did. And I went ahead and rendered that out. I hope you guys learned something new today. Have fun with the Luma Labs AI website and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.